Hey everyone, it's John Pollock and I'm joined as always by Jimmy Corderas. Coming up this Sunday night, the WWE presents Night of Champions. And in the main event, we've got John Cena once again chasing for the WWE title, taking on Alberto Del Rio. And I've got to say, just a couple of days out from this pay-per-view, I'm not that intrigued by this match. No, there has been really no build to this match. I mean, it is a different feud, it's different, it's fresh. But again, it hasn't had that real big oomph behind it that the WWE usually pushes behind their main event matches. It just seems like a by the numbers style of feud. Heel attacks Babyface, Babyface goes for retribution. There's no real personal issue. No one cares about how many titles Cena's won by this point. I think that part is almost irrelevant. And uh, let, let's hope that they can put something together in the ring because it is something fresh in the main event. Absolutely, and we know Alberto Del Rio has got, is a rising star and I hope they keep the title on him for a while. Now on top of that, uh, you would presume that they're gonna be following CM Punk and Triple H, which is the, the match that's been very highly debated about. This was originally planned for Survivor Series, but they're moving it up a couple of months after Kevin Nash uh, could not perform, even though he's still with the company. But nonetheless, we're getting Punk and Triple H with the stipulation that if Hunter loses, he steps down as COO. I know, again, it seems a little rushed, everything. I mean, obviously you said they rushed the match a few pay-per-views, but then again, adding the stipulation on top of things, it's, again, just feeling like everything is being rushed, rushed, rushed. They want to hot shot everything. But at the same time, now we got to think about, is Hunter ready to go? Is there going to be some ring rest involved? I kind of have a feeling, probably not. Yeah, I would hope that, you know, when we got the number for Money in the Bank, I think putting such a high profile match on a B show, it's just a mistake because you're not maximizing your audience. And this, I wish they had the patience to wait for Survivor Series because I don't think this, this feud is ready for a match at this point. And I have no doubt it'll probably deliver in the ring, but I just think it's so soon, and to me, it's gonna telegraph some kind of angle where it's a no DQ match, and Hunter and maybe some help can just obliterate Punk, because I don't see Hunter losing this. No, I can't see Hunter losing this soon into his uh, career as COO. And I guess with the Survivor Series, they have The Rock coming in. I, I, I guess they figured that that's gonna be the selling point for the pay-per-view anyway. Yep, it very well could be. A couple of months ago, Randy Orton did a radio interview saying the most difficult person to work with in, on the roster is Mark Henry, and we're gonna see if that's true on Sunday when he defends the world title against Henry, who has gotten a gigantic push. And I'm a fan of Mark Henry, but unfortunately with every Mark Henry push, we get a pay-per-view main event. And that's where the push kind of falls apart for me. What are we gonna see Sunday? Oh, we're definitely not gonna see the kind of series we had from Randy Orton and Christian, that's okay. for sure. It's gonna be a completely different style of match. Uh, I, I don't know, I'm gonna be a little bit intrigued to see what happens here. I mean, we know Randy Orton can go. Mark Henry's very slow, methodical. Um, We'll see how they book it. I yeah. don't think it's gonna end with someone getting spit in the face with beer, and then that'll be as well. We'll no. see in Cena Del Rio. No. Maybe we'll get five. Oh, you never know. Also, quickly, tag titles. We're gonna see The Miz and R-Truth teaming up, taking on Kofi Kingston, Evan Bourne. Do we see a title change? Uh, I think too soon. I'd like to see the title stay with Air Boom for a little while. I still can't get over that name, but anyway. Uh, I like, but I do like uh, R-Truth and Miz as a team. I, they, they'll be the tag team champs in the future. And as well, Beth Phoenix from nearby Elmira, New York. She's going to be in Buffalo taking on Kelly Kelly. Is she going to get the babyface treatment from the audience? I'd probably assume that being, you know, a hometown girl, she'll get the babyface treatment. But then again, in true WWE style, will she actually win in their hometown? We will see. It's Night of Champions Sunday night, 8 p.m. Eastern on pay-per-view. Follow us on Twitter, at Law Radio, at Jimmy Corderas.